Mongkok Ladies Market is in the heart of Mongkok. Located on Fa Yun Street, it's a one-kilometer stretch of stalls selling accessories, souvenirs, clothes, and more. However, with only 12 meters in width, stalls are tightly packed, and so are people. The traditional stall market street is generally narrow in width due to the poor urban planning in the 1960s. For example, Fa Yun Street is only 12 meters wide and surrounded by the multi-story Chinese tenement buildings. This created a narrow gap for wind to blow. Therefore, the wind speed will decrease and disfavors the dispersion of air pollutants and suspended particulates. Hong Kong has a land area of 1,111 square kilometers, but only 24.3% of the area has been developed, which is less than a quarter. The rest of them are natural reserves and country parks, where development is strictly restricted. It means that the land source is scanty, yet the population has increased over 15% over the past 20 years, and the trend is predicted to continue into the mid-2030s. We present our underground street market that provides more space, better ventilation, and biomimetic synergies. For the underground street markets, we reference the black-tailed prairie dogs and their asymmetric burrow openings for biomimicry. The way that a prairie dog builds the opening to its burrow helps to harness the wind energy from the windy plains and create passive ventilation through the burrow's tunnels. Our ventilation system from the ground features several holes of ventilators, each with different heights to mimic the prairie dogs. Thus, cooler winds will pass through the shorter holes and come out from the taller holes, providing ventilation naturally. Our underground markets are connected to the subway exits, making it more easily accessible. Each stall is a foldable booth all underground, and as they're folded up, the marketplace can function differently and become a multi-purpose room. The exteriors are mostly glass windows that can provide natural sunlight. The transmittance and the darkness of the glass is adjustable to the intensity of the sunlight or angle of the sun. Our underground markets intend to balance between lighting and heating, for excessive sunlight may uncontrollably increase the room temperature of the underground streets. The glass rooftop uses electrochromic glass, a newly developed material that generates color change from the electric potential difference. Chemicals consisting of niobate, lithium, and silicon dioxide form a giant lattice that has similar properties as normal glass, but it becomes darker as voltage is applied to the electrode attached. Other than the rooftop, the exterior glass windows are built with photochromic glass, which becomes dark in color under intense UV light. The speck of collide of the silver iron absorbs more light as it transforms into a metal state and prompts the color change. Our underground markets have fiber tunnels as a light source. Also known as light collecting heads, they're attached above ground in the green area, with the heads consisting of multiple light fibers. The glass lens will direct the light into the optical fiber and light fibers can direct light to a luminous tube as a substitute to the interior lighting. The fiber tunnels will ultimately provide direct transfer of solar light to the ground. Our underground markets intend to achieve sustainable development in three aspects. First, economically. The underground street market and the overground park serves as tourist spots and promotes the development of tourism, thus providing financial support and job opportunities. Socially, the market preserves the local hawker culture and provides a spot for residents in the nearby community to gather and rest. Last but not least, environmentally. The overground green space, which involves bushes and grassland, reduces the heat island effect and air pollution problem in the area. The open space also serves as a wind corridor to improve urban ventilation. Our underground markets are concepts of biomimicry, regenerative design, as well as socially and environmentally sustainable architecture manifested in Hong Kong's iconic street markets. Considering HK2021 released its scheme to build a northern metropolis area catered for sustainable development, the underground markets are feasible and possible under the right initiatives. Our underground markets harmoniously merge with nature and allow us to live in equilibrium with the environment. It's a small price to pay to seamlessly integrate us with our planet.